Hi, today you will see how you can upgrade uh, your version of Backup Exec to the newest one, uh, to Backup Exec 2012. Uh, you may have already installed Backup Exec 12 or 12.5. Uh, don't worry, the uh, procedure is the same. Uh, now, if you have uh, latest, uh, sorry, oldest versions of Backup Exec, uh, uh, like uh, 11D and before, you must first uh, uh, upgrade to 12 or 12.5 and then uh, go on with uh, uh, to upgrade uh, backup exec uh, to 2012 okay as you see here I have already installed 2010 R3 version I have uh, some scheduled jobs here uh, every day of the week uh, running. I have already uh, my backup to these folders and my media sets for its backup to this folder. Okay, first of all uh, you must take a complete uh, uh, full backup of your uh, C drive here or your from your program files and contains backup exec software uh, in case that uh, maybe you want uh, a rolling bug okay let's say that uh, already have a complete backup of our C drive or uh, program files and uh, I, I want to upgrade the software to the new one as you see here I have my backup to disk folders in drive H let's do a backup now for all schedules run now yes to all In the new version of Backup Exec, Backup Exec 2012, uh, there is no need to create media sets as uh, already you may be known. Only uh, storage devices for uh, your backup to disk uh, 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 media sets, backup sets, sorry. Okay, the first thing uh, you must do is to stop backup exec services. Let's go to the services. Okay. Okay, agent. All the backup exec uh, backup exec services. as you see here ok ok cancel yes let's go to the folder that contains backup exec 2012 here we are and let's begin the upgrade OK, Backup Exec 2012 Pre-installation Run an environment check 
for the following product local environment check okay let's see okay some uh, warnings uh, domain check warning this computer is not a member of domain I don't care uh, this computer is standalone server and terminal services the application I don't care okay semantic uh, antivirus check semantic don't install okay finish let's go to install backup exec as I said do not forget to uh, perform a, a full backup of your C drive and uh, if you want uh, your registry files okay next local installation next as you see here in another environment check some warnings okay next let's continue with the trial version next write the password of the administrator okay next next install let's find out Okay, your data was successfully migrated to Backup Exec uh, 2012. Continue. If you go to, if you want to click roll back, is here. Installing Microsoft SQL Express. okay we have already done we're gonna run a live update uh, later let's uh, reboot system finish finish okay let's see what happened uh, after upgrading Backup exec 2012. As you see here, a new interface. Let's go to backup and restore. Choose uh, your server that you want. As you see here, 
my backup to disk uh, folder jobs are still here let's go to the storage tab okay I see a storage device uh, by default backup exec 2012 uh, uh, choose one uh, backup to disk folder and then creates uh, uh, his uh, storage device there in this case to backup to disk uh, Monday let's take a look backup to disk Monday okay I don't want this folder uh, for my backups and uh, I'm going to delete them all of them the other backup disk uh, folders uh, I was delete them because I don't uh, uh, need them anymore okay let's go to uh, to delete uh, this uh, storage device because I want to create another one disable and then delete okay I'm going to disable and uh, to delete them as well okay delete in my age uh, volume as you see here I have my old backup to disks uh, media sets here anytime uh, that I want I can to uh, restore them by uh, importing them to this uh, 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 with this tab here configure storage I can import a legacy backup to disk folder here give a name if you want type the path backup to disk let's say from Thursday copy paste next and finished and uh, from here I can perform a, a restore job you must double click here then go to jobs and cut inventory and catalog uh, this uh, backup to this folder you can see my other video of how to restore uh, files or mailbox or uh, civil email messages okay don't worry about this never mind thank you for watching this video